this video is created by Jagrat Creation. Here I want to go for accounting for business purchase by a company. Company has purchased the business of a partnership firm. The, how the accounting is being made for purchase of per business in the books of company is a point considered in, the, in this sum. Look at the sum that I intend to solve. This is the sum that I intend to solve. Following is the balance sheet of Masuk Brothers as on 31-3-2017. On asset side you are given land and building, machinery, stock, data, minus bad debt, bad debt reserve, investment, market value 40,000, notice it here, cash and bank balance. On liability side you are given capital of M, V, workman profit sharing fund, workman compensation fund, bank loan, creditors bills payable. On 2017 Mahavijay Limited was incorporated with an authorized share capital of 5 lakhs divided into an equity share of rupees 100 each to take over the running business of the firm on the following condition. These are the terms and conditions with which the business is taken up. Value of land and building as shown in the books is 10% less than the market value. Stock is overvalued by 10%. Goodwill of the firm is to be valued one fifth of total profits of last five years. And the average profit of last five years is 50,000. So average profit of last five years is 50,000. So total profit for last five years, 50,000 into five, two lakh fifty thousand. And goodwill is valued one fifth thereof. So two lakh fifty thousand into one fifth, fifty thousand is the value of goodwill. Debtors are subject to ten percent bad debt reserve. When you want to provide for bad debt reserve, you should take debtors after bad debts. So on eighty thousand at ten percent, eight thousand will is the required bad debt reserve. Or the bad debt reserve considered for the purpose of working out the purchase price of the business. The purchase consideration is to be satisfied by issue of two thousand five hundred equity shares of rupees eighty each. At a rate of 120, so what is the premium? And the balance amount is to be paid in cash. The company has issued the remaining shares to the public at rupees 80 paid up, past necessary journal, journal entries in the books of the company and prepare the initial balance sheet of the company. I am going to prepare balance sheet as per schedule 3. Now, first of all, I am supposed to work out the purchase price of the business. Look at the working note that I prepared to work out the purchase price. See, assets and liabilities purchased, so here I am going to work out the net assets. Here I am going to write down what is paid payment made against the acquisition of net assets. The value of land and building is shown in the books. One like 80,000. is 10% less than the market value. So let me prepare a working note. If the market value is 100, book value is 10% less, so book value is 90. If 90 is the book value, then 100 is the market value. How much for 1 lakh 80,000? So purchase price of land and building is 2 lakhs. So value of land and building shown in the books is 10% less than the market value. Market value 100, 10% less book value 90. If 90 is the book value, 100 is the market value. How much for 1 lakh 80,000? So exchange value is 2 lakhs. Now stock is overvalued. So book value is 110. If 110 is the book value, then 100 is the market value. How much for 1 lakh 10,000? So stock taken at a price of 1 lakh. Now goodwill, as I told to you, one fifth of the total profit for last five years. So last five years profit is equal to average profit multiplied by five. So one fifth of two lakh fifty thousand. 50,000 is the value of goodwill. Now this is how the goodwill is taken care of. Debtors are subject to 10% bad debt reserve. So 80,000 bad debt loss, 5,000 bad debt losses has already occurred. Now the remaining debtors for with the bad debt reserve is to be considered. So 8,000 is a bad. So 80,000 debtors minus bad debt reserve 8,000. So debtors exchange value 80,000 minus 8,000 72,000. Then all other assets are to be taken at book value. If the market value is not given to you, so for machinery is a real asset, you are not told anything about its market value, so it is purchased at book value. So machinery purchased at 120,000. 
Investments are purchased at market value because market value is already given. Cash and bank balance 10,000. On the liability side, bills payable 10,000 purchased. Creditors 25,000. Workman prop bank loan purchased at an exchange value of 2 lakhs. Workman profit sharing fund is also liability. All these liabilities are purchased. So total of liabilities are to be deducted from total of assets. So here you will get the net assets that is the purchase price for this business. So we are required to pay 3,47,000 as the purchase price of the business being a company. So how the payment is made? 2,500 equity shares are paid. So this is the face value. This is the paid up value per share. Share of 100 face value, paid up value 80. But the exchange value is 120. So 120 minus 80, 40 is the security premium. So shares are given at a premium, 2,500 into 40. One lakh is the premium. Remaining amount is paid in cash. So 347,000 minus 3 lakhs. That is the cash payment. So if you work out the cash payment, cash payment is made 47,000. This is how the purchase price and the payment is being calculated. Now on the basis of this working note, I will write on the journal entries and on the basis of journal entry, I will prepare notes for preparing the balance sheet and on the basis of those notes, I am going to prepare balance sheet as per schedule 3. Let me start. So journal entries, business purchase account debit 347,000 to vendor form account credit 347,000. This is the amount payable to vendor form. Now what is being purchased? These are the assets that has been purchased. So land and building account debit 2 lakhs, stock account debit, goodwill account debit, debtors account debit, machinery account debit, investment account debit, cash account debit. So all the assets are debited. Liabilities are to be credited and reserve against assets are also credited. So better reserve credit, bills payable credit, creditors account credit, bank loan, workman profit sharing fund. Two, which account is to be credited? Business purchase account is to be credited. So this is how acquisition of assets and acquisition of liabilities is adjusted against the purchase price of the business. Now on the basis of that, if I want to prepare a work, notes on accounts for the purpose of preparing balance sheet, so these are the various titles in which the notes on accounts are prepared. What are the titles? Share capital, reserves and surplus, then current liability, long-term liability, current liability, short-term borrowing, trade payable, long-term liability. So these are the various titles is to be paid. So these are the liabilities, short term, long term. Non-current assets, non-current investment, current assets, cash and cash equivalents. Land and building tangible assets, stock, inventories, data, goodwill, intangible assets, data, trade receivables, machinery, tangible assets, investment, non-current investments, cash and cash equivalents, bad debt reserve is deducted from debtors. Then bills payable, trade payables, creditors are also in trade payables, bank loan, long term liability, permanent profit sharing fund. Now payment is to be made with vendor firm account debit to equity share capital to security premium to cash and bank account. So equity share capital paid as purchase consideration, security premium 1 lakh, cash paid is deducted from the cash balance. Now, was incorporated with an authorized share capital of 5 lakh divided into, divided into equity share of rupees 100. Company has issued remaining shares to the public at 80. So remaining shares are issued to public. So authorized share capital minus issued for purchase of business 2,500 shares. So remaining shares issued to the public at a price of 80. So share of 100 issued at a paid up value 80, remaining amount is to be called afterwards. So this is the amount received right now. Bank account debit to equity share capital account. So I add to bank balance, cash balance 10,000 plus 2 lakhs minus 47,000, 1 lakh 63,000 is the cash and cash equivalence. Now, these are the shares issued for cash. So total share capital that I am going to share of 100 is 80 per share paid up. Here you are supposed to write out, out of these shares, 2,500 shares are issued for consideration other than cash that you are supposed to write down below this in a bracket which I haven't done. 
Now, on the basis of this, I'll prepare the balance sheet as, per, as required. So, these are the various titles. Intangible assets, current assets, inventories, trade receivables, cash and cash equivalents, share capital, in reserves and surplus security premium. Then here, work and profit sharing fund, bills payable, creditors, this should be non-current liabilities. Not, it should not be in current liabilities title, it should be non-current liabilities title. Land and building, machinery, intangible assets, goodwill, investment, non-current investments, stock recorded under the title of inventories, trade receivables, cash and cash requirements. Now have a total of equity and liability, same should be the total of hazards, that works out to be 745,000. This is how balance sheet as per schedule 3 is being worked out. I have tried to explain you this sum. I think that you have followed all these things. If you want to see all the journal entries once again, you can look at it. These are all journal entries that I have recorded while solving the sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to you.